What's up? Where is your boy, the Black World Traveler? We're going to talk about the foreign women compared to the women in the Western world. Now, I see a lot of these guys, you know, they go over and they date these different women in different countries and they're saying how the women are better and more beautiful. Women are more modernized now, even in certain countries. You know, there's a lot of more things that women aren't going to do now. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I dated Japanese. I was in Japan for two years. I dated Filipinos. I dated Thai. Uh, the only reason why I dated different women around the world, I was in the military. When you start really getting around people, you're going to realize that, yeah, the cultures are different. That's the only thing that makes women different and men different, that the cultures are different. But more women are more independent now. They want more, they do more things, you know, to better themselves. They do more things to have their freedom and have their choices. I don't plan on making a woman who doesn't want to be a woman that stays at home and take care of me. I don't expect it. You know what I'm saying? Why would you want to take a woman who's not made like it to do that? I know my mother, she's 72 years old. She still cares to my dad. She still goes in there and cooks and clean. My dad don't touch nothing, but when my mom needs something done, he does it. But see, they were made that way. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude that rides my woman to the end. But I'm not going to be with no lazy ass woman who don't want to do nothing. I'm not going to be with a woman who doesn't want to do anything to help me out. And we're, you know, a lot of these women want to do, well, you live in your place, I live in my place. But why, you know, we decided to be in a relationship and we can't live in the, under the same roof. And sometimes it could be a problem because then you spend extra money you don't have to spend. You know, uh, the purpose of being together is to, to work together. You, you go together to grow together. You can't learn a person if you live in two different places. You can't, you can't learn a person if, if, you, um, if you guys aren't on the same page, you have different beliefs. You know, you can, you can be different religions and everything and still love each other. But if you don't have the same moral values, like, I ain't gonna lie, man, I want a woman, yeah, to come home and cook. You know, sometimes I cook and cook. I ain't got a problem with that. You know, but, you know, these dudes going overseas telling me how these women are better than They just have a different traditions. Um, Western women are not gonna, they're not made like that. I don't care if they're Filipino, if they're American. Some women still cook and clean. They still do that. But some women don't. And I would never try to take a woman who doesn't want to do that and try to convert her to be that. It's just like a man. She can't convert me to be the man she wants me to be. Like some women want the man to just do everything and go all out. And she wants you to just do everything for her. Like how the old man did. You know, they want the old man to do what their daddy did. Same like the women aren't westernized. We, we're the same way. We're not doing what our dads and them did. You know, I'm more of a stand-up dude. You're not going to just tell me what to do. But you see, the, them, them, women, them men did a lot more because the women did a lot more for them. That's why those women were able to get a lot more stuff done because they would do more for their men. Yeah, she might want, you know, to get a certain kind of house or certain car like a car, but the thing she did, you know, helping them raise the kids and, you know, uh, cooking and cleaning and make sure the family was fed and, you know, helping with the bills. She might even get a job to help the husband out. See, women were getting those kind of privileges back then because they helped the man. Nowadays, women, you know, in the Western world, they, I got my own thing, I don't need a man, fine. You know, so I don't want a woman like that. I don't mind a woman being independent and doing her own thing because if she's independent and I'm independent, we can put our minds together, we can, we can be a team, but, you know, my problem I have with these women, you know, to be real with you, they get comfortable and they start talking to you crazy and being disrespectful. And that's the problem I usually have with women. They get comfortable and start being disrespectful and then I just walk out on them. I don't argue with women. If a woman argues with me, I have no reason to be with her. If she wants to argue with me, I have no reason to be with her. If she wants to fight with me, I have no reason to be with her. Dudes, are, you know, dudes are get with women and be arguing with the women and they be calling the police on them and all that. They be cheating. Bro, if I got to cheat, if I got to lie to you, if I got to fight with you, there's no reason me being in a relationship. I can stay single. See, one thing about being single with me, you know, I don't need much from a woman. If I'm not a woman, I need, I like her attention. I like to kiss a woman, you know. I like to hold her hand, you know, make love to her. But as far as like, if we gotta be fighting and feuding, if that's what our relationship's made of, I don't need that. So, y'all like me, hit that like button if y'all like what I'm saying, man. If y'all like, hit that like. You know, make a comment if y'all like what I'm saying, because you know what I'm saying is true. You know, stop, stop being with these women and, and then just complaining about how you go to these other countries. Man, look, I went over, I went over to Colombia, Panama, you know, recently. I'm gonna tell you something. Women do stuff if you want them to do it. You know, back in the days, a woman would invite you over and she would just cook for you. Now these women, you gotta ask them. I had to ask women to cook for me. When I, now, can you cook something for me? Or, you know, they wanna go out and eat. 
they want to go and you know eat at a restaurant a lot of them don't want to cook so you know just be real man even if you go to these third world countries man only reason why the women are a little more like that because the women are who are like that they're the ones who don't want to go out there and work there's a lot of women in them countries that grind who don't really expect for a man to pay for nothing there's women out in these third world countries that still go out there and get it they'll go out there and work two jobs to get it i know women that out there they're looking for a man to help her with her with, with, with her with, you know, with everything else because she don't want to work two jobs. She don't want to go hard. So when you got a woman like that, she, she's not going to go hard. And you shouldn't expect her to because she's not made like that. So many women looking for a man to help them pay their car notes and do shit like that because that's what they expect you to do. And you can't get mad at her if you fall for it. The thing is, if, if, if I'm your man and you're my woman, yeah, I'm going to help you uh, get ahead, but you, you got to work for me too. We got to work as a team. You work at it. We work as a team. Yeah, I got you. But if we work, if we're not working as a team, and you expect me just to, cause you're cute and you got a big butt that I'm just gonna just, you know, dig in my pockets and cash out, man. You got me all messed up, man. But dudes do it. They do it all the time. They go to these countries where these, you know, cause I ain't gonna lie. When you go to, you know, Central and South America, women are a lot more beautiful because they take care of themselves more. In the United States, man, 75% of women, you know, are are obese, especially in the black community. I mostly date black women. And so I don't want no fat woman. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want no big fat woman. I don't want no woman who's, who's out of shape, who, who don't want to be active, who don't take care of herself. I ain't gonna lie. I, I settled like before and I couldn't rock with them. Cause then I'm like, come on, I be trying to motivate. You can't motivate nobody who don't want to be motivated. If you gotta have the motivation in you already. If you're not motivated already, you need to be around me. You shouldn't be around me because I'm not going. I'm not ever trying to motivate a woman who does not want to be motivated. I'm only going to back you up if you're motivated by yourself already. You got to be motivated for yourself already. Then I, then I'll, then I'll chip in and help out. But if you ain't got no motivation, man, we can, we can, we can leave all this alone. We ain't got to do none of this. So, dudes, if you got there, the passport bros, man, you know, also, all the, the passport bros out there, you, you know, everyone you meet ain't going to be solid. You're going to meet women that's going to be on a hustle. You're going to meet, you're going to meet women that's going to be on some whole stuff. Just because you go overseas and meet a woman don't mean she's all solid. They got game too. Don't get it messed up. They got game too. And a lot of the women know they got major game, bro. They run a game on you. You know, some dudes ain't never had beautiful women. So the beautiful women, you get these dudes, they never had nobody, no beautiful woman. So they didn't fall for it. Hey, man, a, a beautiful woman don't phase me. When it comes to being disrespectful or, 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 you know, or not really feeling me, I'm not desperate. I've had a lot of beautiful women in my days, so I'm not worried about that. But if y'all like what I'm saying, man, passport bros, anybody traveling, whatever, if you like what I'm saying, like, comment, share. It's your boy, the Blackboard Traveler. I'm out.